Here we have the silky dogwood or swamp dogwood, Cornus amomum, and we're in its habitat right now. My feet are almost wet. We're in sort of a swampy low-lying area near Wingra Marsh, and there's species like willow and hackberry and ninebark nearby. Like all Cornus, this plant has opposite simple leaves and an entire margin with arcuate venation that arches toward the tip. However, in silky dogwood, you've got the tips of the leaves much more long pointed or acuminate, which helps you tell it from other dogwoods. And silky dogwood is so named by fine hairs on the young twigs and petioles. You'll need a hand lens to see this. The twigs of silky dogwood are also reddish in color. And in contrast to red osier dogwood that also has red twigs, the silky dogwood has reddish pith. The red osier dogwood has a snowy white pith. So if you have any question about it, then just cut open a branch and look for this reddish pith. The white flowers in spring are born on these rounded cymes, and here you can see the young fruits developing. In silky dogwood, these fruits will ripen to blue. The only other cornice in Wisconsin that has blue fruits is Cornus alternifolia, which has alternate leaves. All the other opposite leaf dogwoods in Wisconsin are going to have white fruits when ripe. 